The law stipulates that a master who beats his slaves so severely that they die immediately is to be punished severely, likely with death. This was likely a debt slave, and the law is consistent with other laws that we see in the ancient Near Eastern law collections. It certainly says nothing about the master being on equal footing with the slave before the law. In fact, in verses 26 to 27, a slave is not due lex talionis if the master damages or knocks out an eye or tooth of the slave. Instead, he is simply released of his debt and set free. And in verses 28 to 32, an ox that gores a free person results in the death of the master. But if that same ox gores a slave, the master only has to pay 30 shekels of silver, certainly not equal in the eyes of the law. 